I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And you've already seen the buying process of Yuri's Fiat 500 at Barth, so I can finally officially reveal my Ford Fiesta ST. And we're going for a drive. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of the $10,000 Hot Hatchback Challenge. And big shout out to Crown Rust Protection for setting us up with these cars. So we're on the way to get these rust protected at Crown right now, but first a little send through Cliche Corner. Yuri, let me know if I'm gonna leave you in the dust right now. I feel like we're pretty matched up. Yeah, this is pretty close. I mean, <laughs> I think yours sounds a little better, but I got this little blow off valve right here. Let's listen. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Welcome to my 2014 Ford Fiesta ST Molten Orange on Orange Interior. So now I am officially Birdman because Birdman had a collection of red cars, so Molten Orange is kind of close to red. Gaga! <laughs> so was anybody really surprised by his choice? Like what else could he have really gotten? Yeah, this has basically been reviewed as probably the best hot hatch ever made, at least in North America. Yeah, everyone says they have one. I guess Johnny Lieberman from Motor Trend has one. I think Jeremy Clarkson's daughter has one. It's kind of the go-to best hot hatchback. So for those of you that don't know, I already have a molten orange Ford Raptor and I recently painted my Fox body molten orange as well. So I kind of had to get molten orange, even though I don't really care about orange, but the Ford Fiesta was the only other car that was offered from the factory in molten orange. So I kind of had to get an orange, especially with these orange Recaro seats. And I really did not want a sunroof because I'm quite tall. So this actually gives me a lot more headroom. And then I got the darker wheels. So this is the perfect spec that I ended up with. However, it took me kind of a long time to end up with this car. Okay, what are the issues with finding a used Fiesta ST? Because I feel like you showed me a bunch of them and every one you send me, you're like, ah, oh, get ready for the deal breaker. And then boom something sketchy. So the number one thing that I noticed with used Ford Fiesta STs is all of them have very large accidents on their Carfaxes. I'm talking like 10 to 15 to $20,000, even like one or two accidents spread out. So I did not want one of those cars that were like borderline write-offs. So I actually found this one first before Crown reached out to us to sponsor this series, but I talked to the guy a little bit, he gave me his phone number, but then he took the ad down. So I was kind of like, all right, well, I guess I'm gonna move on from that car. So I found one in Ottawa, but the guy wanted kind of a lot of money. It was a dealership, it was a Mazda dealership. He wanted around 15,000, car wasn't in the best shape and he was not willing to budge on the price at all. So that was out of the price range. So the next orange one you found was from a Dodge dealer in Quebec and it was slightly overpriced and the guy added some fees to it that he was legally not allowed to add. Yeah, but he told me that these were mandatory legal fees. So while I was on the phone with him, looked up the government of Quebec website. Nope, everything's all in pricing. I told him that and magically the fee disappeared. Yeah, we ran that by Sherry at Car Help Corner and he also confirmed that, but then the guy used that as a bargaining chip on his side that he got rid of the illegal fees. And the last one that I was super hopeful for was in Alberta. Great price, I didn't even negotiate the price. I was ready to put a deposit down and then Yuri, what did I find wrong with it? Well, you were gonna get it delivered because we weren't gonna drive all the way out there, but the color, I thought it was just like weird because it was taken in the shade, but it actually wasn't orange. Yeah, it turns out this car is actually offered in race red, which I didn't know. And if you take photos of this car in overcast, it kind of looks very red. So I assumed it was the same color. No, the guy was right, it was red. So unfortunately I apologize to the guy profusely because it was totally my fault. Very nice guy at this dealer. It was a Toyota dealer in Alberta. So I moved on from that one. And finally, Yuri got his car. I was very jealous. So I'm like, you know what? I gotta find this car. So I texted the first guy that I contacted and he actually replied. He said, yep, I'm still interested in selling it. And here we are. Yeah, Jacob met up with the guy in a parking lot and I parked across and sneakily filmed from my car so that, you know, we could get some content for this video. And you did a little test drive, you checked it out. You guys were very safe, wore masks, sat in the back, sat in the front. So that was really nice to see from my spy angle. So now I'm at Walmart. I've pre-written a bill of sale just in case this actually goes through. Everything should be good to go. And now I'm just waiting for him and Yuri, so. We'll see how this goes. I'm pretty excited. It looks pretty good. I think it's all pretty promising. He's the first original owner. He says there's no accidents. I haven't seen the Carfax yet or the used vehicle package. So I just got to verify a couple things and should be good to go. I think I'm going to take it. We'll see. I told Jacob to give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Spy Kids, the sequel. All right, little Fiat. Now see this guy right here? He's your brother, but we also have to beat him at everything. So... So be ready for this, okay? Is he gonna sign it? Sign the checkbook? 
Oh, here we go. We've got the challenge. We've got the challenge. We've got the challenge. No idea what he's showing him. Maybe how many subscribers we have. Did Jacob make this guy subscribe just now? Wow. Never stop selling, Jacob. Never stop selling. Is this creepy? Maybe. But what do you want me to do? We don't have a camera crew. We don't stage this. This is an episode of Storage Wars or one of those staged shows. All right. Yo, so, does, uh, does my Fiat have a brother? Yeah, yeah, it does. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, it actually drives so much better than your car. <laughs> no way. And it's, it's not going to sound as good. Let me recap so, okay. my test drive and everything. Ex as well, ex you weren't there. Explain to me what the heck just happened because I saw you talk to a guy, pretend like you're looking at stuff that's wrong. Obviously, you're going to offer him money. Then you sign stuff and he drove away. The paint was good. There's even the original factory paint protection on some of like the sides of the fenders oh, and stuff nice, like that. Nice. Yeah. So, pop the hood. It's all stock. There's spider webs on some of the things. Like nothing's been touched. The only thing that's wrong with it right now is it has a faulty hood latch sensor, which he told me about. So when you start the car, it has a little beep and it just, it thinks that a door or something is open. It's the hood latch. Ben will fix that. Shifter is like very notchy. Everything's good. I ripped it like once. Red line was like, I think 6,500 felt totally fine. What did you say when you ripped it? I asked him if I could rip it first. We only went like up the block. Okay, okay, enough of that. What did you sign? What did you give him? Where's the car and when do we get it? Here's a bill of sale that I pre-wrote. I'm not gonna reveal any information here. I pre-wrote it, made two copies, filled both of them out. So he has a copy of the same thing. I gave him a deposit of $500. Okay, okay. Yeah. Is he getting it safety or are you? I'm gonna get it safety through Ben. And he's gonna just dump it off at Dixie and Bloor and, nope. and don't worry about it? No, nope. so what's gonna happen is I'm going to pick it up from him on Tuesday. He's going to meet me at the his bank. So I'm gonna have the certified check ready. I'm gonna hand it to him and then he's just gonna write up the ownership and I'm gonna take that to the MTO, which is near his bank. And then I'm just gonna drive it home with you or with my wife or something. And that's it. We got, I got a car on Tuesday with a temporary plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Dude, it drove incredibly well, like incredibly well. And then we just gotta get that thing rust protected and we're good to go. Exactly, shout out Crown. Yo, Crown is literally the only reason that all of this is happening. So thank you Crown Rust Protection for sponsoring this series. Well, what was your explanation for um, I'm rolling up in a $160,000 car and lowballing you? Uh, there was no explanation. Do you have a, what, what watch are you wearing? Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> there was no Did you lowball or, or did you just take it? No, no, I, I negotiated down while we were driving. I'm like, listen, I got a number in my head and it's slightly lower than what you're listing it for. Let me know if you're okay with it. He's like, okay, $10,000. He's like, yeah, I'm not even driving it. It's better than just letting it sit. Cause he was asking 10, five, so $500 off. What is, what is that guy thinking? Like I'm in $160,000 car, maybe, I'm negotiating. Maybe he thinks you painted it with, uh, with just a, like with, a with spray paint and it's an X630i. Uh, yeah, maybe, <laughs> but uh, I could literally, what? I could buy 16 Fiesta STs instead of this stupid thing. I would give me 16 Fiesta STs all day. All right, I gotta go home. Okay. Bye, hey, Jacob. Thanks for coming and spying on us. And he was a very nice guy. So uh, if you're watching this video right now, I apologize for everything you're about to find out and everything that we did and filming you across the street from a parking lot. And there's pretty much no rust on your car right now, which is awesome. So when we apply that rust protection from Crown, it's gonna keep the car in a great shape for a long time. Crown is Canada's number one vehicle rust protection and has been around since 1986. They have over 250 locations across Canada, the US, Europe, and expand to new areas every single year. So before I actually bought this car, I headed over to Raptor Racing to meet my buddy George to actually buy the first modification before I even own the car. Yuri doesn't know this yet, but yesterday I did some shopping before I even had the car, so I bought myself a little blow off valve. So Can you install that at Ben's? Yeah, yeah, this is part of the safety wow, now. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. So Yuri just found out that I have this right now. Uh, you think uh, I had I had to get a blow yeah, yeah, yeah. like I after, had to. after mine yeah exactly all right so that's it <laughs> you couldn't resist. I couldn't I bought the mod before the car yeah Jacob had a little bit of blow off envy from my car so he had to catch up real quick which was cool it actually sounds so much better with that yeah so a lot of blow off envy so I bought a turbo smart blow off valve showed out George at Raptor Racing and unfortunately he actually let me drive his extremely modified Fiesta ST and I absolutely loved it so here's a couple clips of that George, Raptor Racing, how much for the steering wheel? Holy crap. <laughs> I need the steering wheel. I need the blow up, I don't need that exhaust. Okay, here's what's going on in here. Let me just show you. I'm just gonna start this up again. Look, look at the steering wheel. So you have RPMs right up here. And if I, look at that. Yeah, yeah. 
I didn't even know that was a thing. He's got this crazy shifter. Look, look at it. This is first, second, third, fourth. So is that what you're gonna end up doing to yours pretty much? How many parts do you have for it already? I don't wanna spoil this, but let's just say the track video is going to be a very different vehicle from the stock one that I'm currently driving. Shout out a couple more sponsors who secretly got on board. But you gotta take it to the track for the comparison stock versus stock. Yes, we're gonna do stock versus stock, and then we're also going to modify this one. Cause yours is already kind of modified. Barely, it just goes But we're also gonna put Continental tires on both, so it's a super even comparison. And we are gonna put the exact same Continental Extreme Contact Sport tires on both cars. And fun fact, they actually take the exact same tire size. It's like it was a comparison meant to be, thank you so much, Crown. So since I was buying this privately, it was not certified. So I had to buy this as is. So we met the guy at the bank. I actually gave him his bank draft there, handed over the cash. Technically didn't really own the vehicle yet, but he had the money. So then we followed him in the M4 competition, which by the way, we showed up in a different car every single time. So that guy was probably very confused. Yeah, first time in an X6M, which is over 100K. Second time in an M4, which is over 100K. And then you're buying this like weird little $10,000 car. It's, it's hard to explain that. And for the price of my Fiat 500 Abarth, I could have had nine of these Gucci fanny packs. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I think I'd take the uh, Fiat. <laughs> I mean, you gotta get at least one Gucci fatty pack. There was a Gucci edition of the Fiat 500, but it was not an Abarth. That's true. So we went to Service Ontario. You got it registered with your temporary plate and I sat around inside it, took a look at everything. I was very impressed. It was very comfortable. The seats weren't as bolstery as like a Focus ST or a Focus RS was. So I was surprised by that. While Jacob's getting the car registered in his name, I'm checking this out. This is sick, orange. These seats are super comfortable. Uh, the driving position feels great. We got a really cool normal tack. We have an infotainment screen, push to start. Wow, legit infotainment. Shifter feels good. Clutch, this seat's similar to mine, probably lighter. Look at all of this. He's got a good Sirius XM setup, I'm jealous. There's something humming. So that's good. That means he also bought a car that's not perfect. Man, these seats. Oh, everything about this is nicer than mine. Don't tell Jacob, but I think he might've beat me again. But his car doesn't go but then he bought the parts for it. Jacob, do you own this now? Sure do. All right, Jacob, we need a thumbnail. Put, oh, yeah, put those yeah. down and get over here. Yeah, Ready? Three, hey, get closer, get closer. Three, two, one. And one more, one more. Ah, a couple more expressions. Like, what did I do? Ah, it's good. <laughs> Jacob owns three orange boys. I, like orange. I know, I know. It's just like a stupid thing. And all of a sudden, all your cars are orange now. So then it was obviously time to head down to our mechanic at Dixie Bloor Service, Ben, and see what he thought about it and to safety it. And if you didn't catch that Easter egg in the BMW M4 competition video, which we showed you guys a couple weeks earlier, that was actually my Ford Fiesta ST being recorded with the drive recorder with Yuri driving the M4. Not a single comment caught that. So guys, you gotta you gotta keep your eyes peeled on our videos for more Easter eggs. Yeah, you never know. There's there's stuff in the background of a lot of videos. Yeah, you see a Ferrari in the background, man. We might have a whole Ferrari collection. We don't, but we might. So Yuri gave Ben at Dixie Blur Service the initial rundown on my car before I showed up. So let's get some of Ben's initial thoughts because he's a bit of a Ford guy. All right, Ben. Now you get to see Jacob's uh, purchase, whether it's good or bad, and but you decide which one's better. What brand is it? Ford. Nah, oh it'll be no. It'll be All right, let's, let's, open, let's open the gate too quiet yeah he already bought a uh, blow-off valve for it oh beautiful Hello. i heard you like turbo cars here <laughs> all right man looks good look at this pile of amazing automotive engineering yeah. that nothing is actually wrong with except for the buzzing in the dash okay there's two things buzzing and when i start the car and i'm just sitting there there's just like like a hum I don't know where it's coming from. There's also a dash cam that's hardwired. So maybe there's okay. an electrical thing. Okay. Uh, other than that, it's always telling me that there's a door open, which I believe is the hood sensor. Oh, okay. And then once once this is safety, you're gonna take both the cars for a spin and give us the mechanic's choice of driver car. Driver car? Oh, not okay. not the mechanic's choice of mechanic. The reliability choice, choice. No. I've already made my choice. But, uh, we'll, we'll bar no car. Yeah. Yeah. Fix it again, Tony. Yeah. Fix it again, Ben. What's this, touch-up pen? Dude, unused touch-up pens for the Fiesta and the- And the Mustang cars. and the Raptor? Yeah. <laughs> the best part about having, this, having all your cars the same color. Yeah. So Ben really liked the Fiesta ST. I think he gave me the bonus points because it's a Ford, but I think the overall condition he really liked. 
It did pass a safety. The only thing it needed was an e-brake adjustment, which is pretty typical, very easy. And I gave him the modification, which he also installed right with the safety as well. It's not exactly part of the safety, but he wrote me up a fantastic bill of sale. So thank you, Ben at Dixie Blur Service. Okay, Yuri, re read what Ben did for me. Inspection, install very necessary blow off valve for important reasons. <laughs> Yes. Yo, yo. We got Dixie Blur Service, best mechanic in the world. Yes. Thank you, Ben. Okay, well, he did actually say something about your car versus my car when he drove mine, so cut to that clip. <laughs> All right, I think Yuri wins. This one's way more fun. And that's also the first time that I drove Jacob's car, so let's cut to that. Hey, Whoa, you're, this... you're, you're driving this for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> this clutch pedal is so light compared to the Fiat. Your steering is like... Yes. Is my mind is... How's that shifter, Yuri? Okay, it's good. I feel like it's lower than mine. It's a six-speed, bro. But like, it's lower down. Yeah, right? yeah. Tight, that I need is. a little torque steer too. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I get any of that because I've got so much like turbo lag. Wow. Okay. Nice and snappy around the corners. It feels like a like a new car. This feels way more new car than mine. Mine feels yes. like an experiment. <laughs> yes. Which is fine. I like that. It's a good way to put it. Traction's already off. I just turn it off for you fully. Send it. Oh yeah. Okay. A lot shorter gears than the Fiat, so I think I might have you if you have to shift. But yo. Overall so, car. Ten out of ten. The fact that you got it like the same price as my Fiat? Yeah, well actually a little bit more, a little bit more. But this doesn't have nearly as much sound, so like I think yes. this will be a better driving car, and that's a better fun car. Yeah. But we'll have to we'll, do all the competitions we'll, we'll to find see. out. Yeah, stay tuned. And so right after Yuri drove it, that was actually the first time that both of these Italian and American brothers met. Yeah, yeah, okay, so these guys are brothers, and then the Mustang and the Civic are brothers, and then the Prowler and the Raptor are brothers too. Yeah, so we got a whole set of brothers here. Let us know which duo is your favorite straight pipes car duo. I think it's still Prowler Raptor. Yeah, probably. And uh, let us know what you want for the next $20,000 duo. I honestly, spoiler alert, want to go like drift cars. 350Z or something, like that would be my dream. Nobody else steal that from us, even though we're stealing that from Donut. Shout out Nolan and James. Pop, 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 down headlights. Let's see how much lightning, lightning, lightning. Oh. Okay, there's a decent amount. Man, my blow off valve is so much louder than yours. Well, it's because it's not a blow off valve. You have an intake. Yeah, that's right. My blow off valve slash intake. Oh, look, I honestly don't know how all this stuff works. I don't wrench. I will eventually start wrenching because now I have a place to wrench. Yeah, I know how all this stuff works, which is why I bought that Turbo Smart blow off valve. And I got a lot of stuff that's still coming. So get excited, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell because we got a lot of stuff coming. So overall, Fiat 500 of Barth, the Fiesta ST, I think I did the riskier buy because it was sight unseen and you did like a much better like deal of the century buy from a first time owner with a matching exterior and interior. To be honest, I've always wanted a Fiat 500 Abarth because I think they sound incredible. So yes, your car will sound better. It does sound better. And even when I modify it, I think yours is still going to sound better. Do you have any like envy that you don't have this car that you got the Fiesta ST instead? Because I personally, don't like the looks of the Fiesta ST as much as I like the whole image and everything of this. So I'm very happy with this purchase and I'm so glad that you got another matching car for your connection. We're gonna start a side channel, that dude in orange. The only jealousy I have is the way your car sounds because there is nothing else like that on the market. So kudos to you for buying the better sounding car for this one. I'm gonna give it to you right now. Great job on your purchase. And if you want to see how these cars are for a normal review, make sure you subscribe to the Straight Bikes because we're going to review both of them. And then the week after that, we're going to do a track battle along with a points battle from all the cool features our car has to see who gets the golden crown and wins. So make sure you hit the notification bell because it might not be on Tuesday or Friday. It might be on Sunday. Depends how we're feeling. But you won't want to miss it because you guys have been asking us for years to review a Fiesta ST and a Fiat 500 Abarth. And again, thank you very much, Crown Rust Control. If you're looking to rust protect your vehicle, click the link below in the description or in the comments.